This video is going to be a film study look at the matchup between Penn A. Sewell and Micah Parsons in the Lions' 20-19 loss to the Cowboys on Saturday night. I'll be honest with you, this is a little bit of a departure from the typical style video that I do. I'll do a film study on a player, a concept, a drive. Uh, I would love to do something like this every week. I just don't normally get recommendations that, that spur my creative interest uh, like this one, particularly with the way that this game finished. And the, the final drive that the Lions were able to put forth good on there and give a, get an opportunity to either win the game or, or tie it if Dan Gamble at any point had chosen to kick the extra point. This is going to be a focus on end zone angle footage only of Penne Sewell versus Micah Parsons, who did have six tackles, two tackles for loss. I think he had two quarterback hits, maybe one. Uh, but I, did, I thought Sewell did a nice job, especially on the last drive. Now, it's an oversimplification, to be honest with you, to try to present this as if every single rep was Sewell versus Parsons or every single rep is a win or a loss from either player. Because I, I reject that notion that each single play needs to be classified as a win or a loss, and that's why I pay zero attention to pass rush win rates. Number one, it's a phrase that I don't appear able to say consistently without screwing it up. And number two, I don't think it's a realistic designation because oftentimes pass rushers are asked to do different things and we have no idea what the call is. And to apply a loss in a situation where occasionally they're asked to give themselves up for another rusher, I don't think gives us realistic data. The more realistic data, at least for me, the one that I'm capable of, of trying to present to you is using the film. Uh, before we get to that, Parsons came into the game, obviously, with 13 sacks, third consecutive year of 13-plus sacks, only 24 years old. He did play a season-high 67 snaps in the win over the Lions, which I think is notable uh, and worth talking about. He did make plays. He always will. He's just too talented. He's, first of all, he's so versatile. He can play inside linebacker. He can play outside linebacker. He can rush. He can rush inside. He's a devastating player, just a really unique talent. I, I offer you that information and that hype because I think it gives context to what Penne Sewell did on the final drive. Every single time that the Lions needed to throw the football on that final drive to go down and tie or win the game, or in this case, lose, Penne Sewell was up to the task. We'll get started with the film here. Make the tackle on this first one. Uh, to be honest with you, he's normally playing off the left side of the Cowboys defense will be right-hand side of our screen if we get the view from behind the offense. The scope of his rookie season is occasionally deal with these super athletic edge defenders. It would be borderline unfair. It's a Jill Iso concept, by the way, where the receiver, in this case, St. Brown, is inserting inside and the tight end is stepping outside to the edge defender. Parsons is just too slippery, too strong. But the larger point here for the Lions and if you're a Cowboys fan, you listen this, this this long, first of all, thank you. I'm sure there's plenty of content creators that have covered this game. I think Mark, Micah Parsons is a badass football player. I'd take him on my Ravens team immediately. Having said that, then you have to give Sewell credit. Sewell handled three different types of move, moves on, on the final draft. Now, yes, he had help from Gibbs one time, and he had help from the guard, and it ended up incomplete. I'd like to do stuff like this each week, maybe for the playoffs, uh, from a game that I, I don't get an opportunity to watch. Hopefully I watch... I guess four Lions games and three Ravens games. Let's do it that way uh, during the playoff game playoff because that would mean they play each other in the Super Bowl. But I'd like to cover matchups. And so this was a great suggestion. I can't remember who the username was that uh, asked me to take a look at it. This was my attempt to look at some film of Penne Sewell against Micah Parsons. If you coach offensive line or you have a little bit more experience with me, uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section where you think I misidentified the, the way that certain things uh, finished up or the way that Sewell and the Lions offensive line handled Parsons. I think on that last drive, they did an excellent job of giving G Jarrett Goff time to get through his reads and really slice up the softer coverages that Dan Quinn and the Lions, uh, or, excuse me, Dan Quinn and the Cowboys chose to play on that final possession. Appreciate you guys' time. If you think other Lions fans would enjoy this film study breakdown of this matchup from Week 17, please consider grabbing a link to this video, sharing it on social media to help this content get more reach.